Hi, it's Andrew from Remote Tribe and I'm here with... Camille. So Camille, what advice would you give to someone who's considering the digital nomad lifestyle but is unsure where to start? I would say I have three advices. The first one, don't copy others' nomad experience and just try to build your own experience. Uh, the second one would be just leave the moment. And the last one, uh, I would say just stay enough in the country um, to discover the local life and the, the culture, you know, just this. Cool, thanks. And how do you stay connected and build meaningful relationships while on the go? Because it, we all know it's difficult. Yeah, to be honest, it's really hard to stay connected, but I try to take the time also to call people, follow their adventure, and sometimes I manage things to meet them like in like all around the world. It's quite it's quite crazy, and also I know how to say goodbye to people and really enjoy the moments when I'm with them. So it takes part of the the experience, the journey. Yeah. And do you use WhatsApp or uh, Instagram, or how do you stay in touch? All, all channels. Uh, yeah, all of them. Like I, yeah, definitely. <laughs> cool. Thanks. And we're here in a beautiful Algarve in a super nice living space called Pomar. Um, tell me, what do you like uh, the most at Pomar? What do you love here? Just tell me one thing. Uh, one thing. The community. <laughs> the, the community. community. Yeah. yeah, definitely. And well, why is that? Um, everything is done to spend time together, um, to know each other and respect uh, all the personalities and, you know, everything is done to have like your own space and also spend like uh, live experiences together. So it's a very good balance, you know, and, and it's really natural here.